Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome everyone uh, joining us on Facebook and on Zoom. So this is uh, Let's Talk FM, Secrets of Success, episode 12. Uh, today's topic uh, I think is quite important. It's nourishing knowledge, your guide to balanced diet, nutritional wisdom and wellness. And today, mine and your special guest is uh, Lydia, Dr. Lydia Marao. Dr. Lydia Marao, let me introduce you, uh, a clinical nutritionist specializing in weight loss and autoimmune disease. She brings her passion and dedication into her profession. She was born in Portugal and raised between Portugal and Switzerland. She has a deep connection to nature and also she loves animals. With a focus on transforming lives through weight loss and lifestyle changes, Dr. Marao is known for her realistic approach to commitment and making a difference. Her journey from a humble beginnings to a professional success reflects her belief in power of personal and personal and professional development and dedication. So today we will dive into her fascinating journey and also insights into nutrition and wellness. So we've got a number of questions that uh, Lydia will be happy to answer. So very well, very well, welcome, Lydia. So thank you very much for joining the podcast. Hello, Martin. Thank you for the invitation. Hello, everyone from UK. Yes, I'm here to you. Please make your questions. Yeah, so before we go deeper into the questions, uh, can you tell us uh, how your jo journey really started with nutrition? How did it all start? How long have you been dealing with uh, nutrition, supplements and diet? So when I, I was on the university, on the college, uh, I was very passionate about the nutrition, uh, mostly about the weight loss process, because, you know, I'm fascinating about the transformation that we can do uh, on those people that need to lose weight because it's not only a physical transformation, it's, a, it's a, um, much more than this. Uh, this uh, person that are losing weight, they suffer a very mental transformation. Uh, they get more confidence, autoesteem, and they are uh, like butterflies. They start not so happy, not so um, confident, person uh, like a confident person. And after uh, a weight loss process, they reborn in a new person, like a butterfly. So I'm I very I'm very in, in love with this process. Uh, since the 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 beginning of my journey as a nutritionist. Uh, and uh, on my first year, I didn't work with supplements, uh, not uh, with weight loss too, but after these first years uh, uh, as a nutritionist, I start to work with supplements and I, I get uh, really passionate uh, about these uh, ingredients inside of the supplements because I understand, I don't know in the UK, but in Portugal, on the university, we don't learn a lot of supplements uh, about plants and about the, 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 what they can do for us. And when I start to work with this company uh, with supplements, I understand that, oh my God, we have here the source of health uh, and we can change uh, the, the health of people and the, the, the well-being of people with these uh, capsules, for example. So uh, I start to uh, learn more, study more about supplements, about plants um, after uh, start working with this company. Uh, it was more than 10 years ago, I think. I'm holding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, at some point in my life, um, uh, FM uh, calls uh, for me for create a weight loss program uh, in Portugal. Um, and uh, until now, I'm de developing to the food supplements for FM. Not all of them, a part of these supplements are uh, uh, with my help uh, creating right now. And this is it marching, I think. Okay, great. Uh, Lydia, 
we're gonna we've got a lot of uh, topics to talk about today uh, but i think we should start from uh, putting things uh, into the right order uh, we eat different things throughout the day uh, people normally eat uh, three meals, right? Breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. Yes. Some people eat some snacks in between. Uh, but if we can focus and if we can put things in the correct order, and uh, if you can tell us what are the key nutritional requirements for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So we know about the carbohydrates, we know about proteins and fats, uh, but if you could just briefly tell us about that. Okay, so the most important thing, the key for uh, for the key for for the healthy lifestyle is remove processed foods from your diet. I think this is the main um, key. Uh, when you you are in a clean diet, obviously you can be more healthy with more energy and you can lose weight. But for lose uh, to lose weight, you need to reduce calories too. This is why we talk about carbs. Uh, it's important to reduce sugar too, but when, just to organize the information, it's important to take a breakfast because it's important to uh, start to uh, improve the function of your metabolism on the morning. So it's important to, to break uh, the fast of the, the, yeah. the night. Um, and after, it's important to have at least in the middle of your day, a bigger meal. It's like your lunch where you eat meat, uh, eggs, uh, fish, uh, grains, vegetables, a very complete meal that uh, um, satisfy your soul. <laughs> and this will help you to get uh, more energy to uh, finish your day. After, uh, on the, at night, you don't need to eat so much. So I think we must start with a good bref breakfast, uh, do a bigger meal in the middle of your day and after reducing what you are eating until you are going to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, before going to bed, you don't need to eat. Uh, it's important to stop uh, eating uh, in the... I, I like to, to do it with my clients after 6 p.m. But if it's not possible, because we work uh, until later, um, you can do your dinner like 8, 7 mm -hmm. p.m. and after stop eating until the next morning to give you uh, uh, a fasting period of uh, 12 hours. It's important to respect this, uh, mm -hmm. this stop uh, too. Yeah, so basically the biggest meal of the day should be lunch. That is between yes. 12 and 2 p.m., for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of proper proportions between carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, what would be your advice? How we should compose our meals? It's hard to give you a correct answer because uh, we are different and our needs are different. And uh, uh, even on different uh, ages, on different stages of your life, you have different needs. Uh, but in general, for example, you can use uh, this tool that you have in UK, uh, my plate. Uh, it's a very useful information. Uh, so, for example, at lunch, you can eat half of your plate with vegetables and fruits, for example. You can uh, take together or one of them. Mm. After, in the other half, you can have protein. Plant-based or not, it's your choice. And after, grains to give you carbs for more energy to, uh, of course, do your work and your activities between your day. For, for snacks, you can use fruits, vegetables, you can use grains too. Uh, I think, Marcin, uh, all our uh, meals, our important meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner, can have the same ingredients. Uh, the important, of course, is to choose uh, with high quality products. But for snacks, you can use fruits, nuts, and dairy products. I think it 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 is a very um, a very now with this intolerance of lactose thing, it's a very sensitive thing. But um, uh, we need dairy products too. What is the secret? Milk, it's not well tolerated by uh, almost all of us, so I don't recommend milk in general. 
the lactose is a pro-inflammatory uh, ingredient and uh, it causes this uh, sensitivity intolerance that we have. But you have other dairy products that you can use and they are very helpful, like cheese, for example, and yogurt. Cheese is a very interesting source of tryptophan that helps you to produce serotonin, that is the hormone of uh, happiness. So it's it's very helpful to help you to reduce uh, anxiety, for example, to help you to reduce the uh, symptoms of depression. It's a very uh, nice snack. Uh, even yogurt, uh, if it was a natural yogurt, uh, and this is the, the main question, you need to find uh, high quality products, more natural products, and you can check this information on the list of ingredients. A, a good yogurt, it's only meat with yeast because it's a fermented food. And this, the natural yogurt, is a natural source of probiotics, so it's very good for your intestine. And they are very interesting uh, foods for snacks or even for big meals. But when I, I talk about lactose, I don't talk about these two because cheese and yogurt are natural, lower in uh, lactose because the production of these foods is the fermentation of milk. So they are almost free of lactose. Mm -hmm. uh, people uh, ask, are concerned about these two products. They are even yeah. in my weight loss program, but they can be used. Yeah. Okay. Yes, great. And uh, yes, yogurts are definitely really good uh, if they contain uh, the good strains of uh, bacteria. And as you are saying, that almost uh, lactose free. So potentially people uh, who are lactose intolerant uh, can take advantage of uh, eating these products. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, yes, roughly we know what to eat, what is the biggest meal and um, what kind of nutrition or nutritions we, uh, we need to provide to our body and where we can get them from and that we don't have to, we must avoid eating processed food. But the question is, uh, for example, if there is a family of four and only one family member would like to introduce some dietary changes uh, in order to, for example, lose some weight, uh, not, not everyone, not every single member of the family needs to go into that sort of diet. So what would be your advice in this case? How to manage that, having a family, um, and going on a diet? So, in first place, it's very important that uh, your family change uh, the habits too, because a healthy lifestyle uh, uh, must be supported by home. Look, it's good for everyone. Uh, I know when you have a family with kids, it's not easy to change everything uh, from the night to the day, but you can do small changes. It's very easy uh, on dinner or, or lunch uh, to prepare the same meal for everyone and uh, even for someone who is uh, in the process of uh, weight loss. For example, you have meat for your uh, family, you have grains for your family, and you do vegetables for all of you. Of course, if, you, if they don't want to eat, they don't eat, but you have your option on the table. And they uh, are seeing what is uh, happen at home. Maybe one day they will want to try too. And this is a good situation for everyone on this table. You know, uh, when you change your lifestyle, you um, do the contamination for mm -hmm. everyone around you. This is the magic of uh, the changing. Uh, when you want to change the world, you start changing yourself. This is my point of view and works on weight loss too and uh, with the changes of uh, uh, lifestyle. So at home, okay, you do the same meal uh, for everyone, meat, grains and vegetables that are on the table. You eat your vegetables with your meat, for example, or your fish, and they eat wherever they want. Maybe kids are uh, uh, with interest in try vegetables mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. before they don't have this at table. This is why they didn't eat before. 
you know so you can uh, start to implementing this at home in small steps but your meal must be uh, every time um, available for you and you share with others it's not you know it's not so hard of course if you have a lot of uh, uh, ready uh, meals at home uh, if you have a lot of processed foods at home it will be more um, hard uh, a more hard work to to to, to do uh, but it's not impossible start with reduce the processed foods in the main meals uh, lunch and dinner and prepare the vegetables that you need for your diet and the the, the other people will, will follow some changes too mm -hmm. so it's it's better to do it gradually uh, to gradually introduce new and healthy dietary habits by eliminating those unhealthy ones and yeah i understand so you're saying what you're saying it's better to change the eating habits rather than to introduce a particular uh, strict diet because that's longer lasting so rather to rather than focusing on the diet we should focus on introducing new healthy habits and that can be introduced uh, among all family members of course a diet for weight loss doesn't work because you think in the diet for weight loss, like uh, to lose uh, 10 kilograms in mm. one month or two months. And after this, you feel like, okay, I'm beautiful now and I want to eat everything again. This is not uh, what I want to do and what I'm doing with my customers. The, the more important thing is the health and keep these uh, new habits for your life. So, of, co of course, someone of us are very motivated and you can change your life uh, from tonight to day. It's not easy, but some people have this um, determination, this motivation. Mm -hmm. But the more uh, important thing is the consistency. So mm -hmm. you start, uh, maybe in your family, it's not possible to do everything right now. So you start with small changes. Yeah. Uh, you introduce vegetables after you uh, introduce fruit in your table, after you change the snacks for you, your kids. Mm -hmm. And step by step, you will um, create a new uh, lifestyle to your family. And mm -hmm. this lasts for your life. This is the most important thing when you think about diet. Diet mm -hmm. is not only uh, in, a, in a short period of time to reach a goal. Diet is a, li a change of lifestyle for your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh Let's move on to, you know, shopping, uh, because obviously we go normally, uh, you know, to a shopping center, we buy products online as well. And uh, sometimes we don't know uh, what we exactly buy, because uh, what, what is important is to be able to read the product labels. And I want to focus uh, on that a little bit more because very often producers use different tricks, sometimes not really trustworthy, uh, to make a certain product look, you know, nice and healthy. But in fact, when you really look at the label and when you really know how to read the label, it turns out that it's not that healthy. And one very good example is that when you go when you go to a supermarket, you've got a lot of yogurts which are basically fat free. But then when you look at the label, those products usually contain a lot of carbs and sugar. Uh, so, what would be your advice? How to read labels? What to pay attention to? And what kind of tricks producers use in order to trick us? Uh, to buy their products, which seem to be healthy, but in fact they are not. The producers are changing the names of things that are not, that are not good uh, inside of the products all the time. Mm. So when you know, okay, I cannot eat uh, dextrose, for example, or malpodextrin, and okay, people know this, so let's change. Uh, this is why we, what are doing with uh, our food. Because for the producers, they want to sell products. And the, they sell more products if people like these products, if it tastes good, smells good. But, you know, our concern must be our health because what you eat, it's inside your body and will give you a better or a not better, a not so better life. So 
my advice when you go to the supermarket market doesn't look at this table with calories, proteins, sugar. You don't need to look at this table because if you look at the list of ingredients, you have all the information that you need. When you look at the list of ingredients, you only must have on this list foods that are allowed in nature. Mm -hmm. Like if you have one name uh, that it's not um, that you didn't recognize from mm -hmm. the nature. It's not for it. Yeah. It's not a food. Mm -hmm. So easy to do this. Of course, you need to go with time to the supermarket because you lose a lot of time in the beginning uh, seeing all the labels. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, after a few months, you will be uh, more healthy and you will recognize what is good food or what is not good food. Uh, sometimes uh, my customers say to me, oh my God, really food? <laughs> Don't become leave uh, a label. Uh, but yes, now everything has a label on, on the supermarket. So you must check the list of ingredients. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? People don't realize, uh, in fact, uh, how much sugar it is in a certain product, uh, because very often uh, their carbohydrates are basically uh, glucose later on. Uh, when we consume a certain product. So very often we've got carbohydrates, including sugar, right? So for example, if we have 60 grams of sugar in 100 gram of product, that means that they are there are approximately 12 teaspoons of sugar in that product because five grams is approximately one teaspoon of sugar. So 60 grams of sugar in the product means that we are consuming 12 teaspoons of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. It is. It is a lot of sugar. So but we don't need sugar on the products. We must to uh, educate our palate to uh, doesn't uh, um, to to recognize what is good mm -hmm. food. Uh, and when you clean your diet, uh, after 30 days, I assure you that your palate will change. And mm -hmm. when you eat something that you don't eat even these uh, 30 days, you don't, don't like so much of this food. Yeah. This happened with sugar, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one, one ex exactly. One example. <clears throat> I used to drink tea with sugar in the past. And uh, when I when I tried a, a tea, black tea, without sugar, I didn't like it. But then when I changed, I drink now black tea without sugar. So if if somebody puts some sugar into a tea and I just try it, I don't like it at all. Of course, it well, doesn't I taste at night as nice. So we need to train our body to adjust to the new diet, new. Uh, eating habits, it may take time, but that, that is the only way to do it. Yes, and our body finds always the balance. So if you clean your diet, your body will change too. And when you try to eat uh, the same as was eating before, mm -hmm. your body will not uh, give the same the digestion process. You will, uh, you will feel like uh, not so good on the stomach too. And mm -hmm. even your the taste will be different. So uh, um, it's very interesting when you can uh, do these changes in your diet. Look, I'm a human. I, uh, on the college, I was drinking coffee with a, a, a sachet of sugar. Yeah. In Portugal, we have these sachets. On, on the, those years, uh, it will be uh, inside of this sachet, 10 grams of sugar, yeah. three coffees a day, 30 mm -hmm. grams of sugar only on coffee. Yeah. One day when I saw uh, um, this uh, amount of sugar, I think, oh my God, it's not possible. I'm I'm learning how to help people changing their, their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be uh, I will become a nutritionist someday, and I eat thirty grams of sugar only on coffee. It's not possible. So yeah. I um, try to uh, take off this sugar. Mm -hmm. I. I cry every time that I, I drink uh, coffee uh, on, on those uh, years. But after a few months, I try to uh, drink coffee with sugar and it's disgusting. 
you know you can uh, find a new way to live with these with these uh, changes and mm -hmm. it's it's amazing what happened when you, uh, to your body your uh, skin your nails your hair change when you change your diet this uh, give you the information that something good is happening inside of your body yeah yes yeah. and yeah. also i think it's very important to understand that uh, not only things that are sweet contain sugar but also other things that are savory do contain sugar like for example ketchup tomato sauce right it's full right. of sugar it's but sweet. it's not sweet so we need to really pay, pay attention to uh, the labels and we need to pay attention uh, what we eat and what we buy about the the, the changes uh, uh -huh. That you asked me before, uh, what uh, can someone do when uh, it's on a diet and uh, must eat to to the family? To you, to the family. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, about uh, the dressings, it's very important to uh, change the how you prepare your food. For mm -hmm. example, using uh, some uh, tasty herbs, some spices, uh, and uh, take off this kind of uh, pre-ready. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, dressings uh, because they have a lot of sugar inside a lot mm -hmm. of uh, additives food additives that are very harmful for the metabolism so it's a very very uh, interesting point uh, to matching mm -hmm. yeah and you know nowadays uh, which i think it's a good uh, point uh, you know being body positive uh, it's a really really good point because everything starts from your mind so if you are positive, if you have positive thoughts, then basically that affects your physical body. So yes, if you are unhappy about your body and you are constantly moaning and being depressed, uh, that is not good. But there's another uh, side of the coin uh, in that sort of situation. Being Body positive, it's one thing, but uh, accepting yourself, for example, being overweight significantly or obese uh it may not be great so i would like you, i would like you to discuss this uh, topic uh, for a while at the moment and there is some kind of relationship between being uh, really overweight or obese and leptin resistance there is something uh, in the body which is called leptin and that's really really important for us so if we can focus a little bit on this topic now okay so the leptin resistance um, appears uh, almost in all the obese uh, people uh, because uh, when you have a uh, higher uh, body fat mass um, you change uh, your hormonal balance in your body and one of these hormones are leptin. Uh, you uh, develop this resistance of leptin. How it uh, will be uh, harm harmful for you? You cannot uh, control anger so easy. You can get uh, more. Um, uh, you can get e even uh, more uh, hard to lose uh, weight mm -hmm. because this leptin resistance not only affects your uh, controlling your anger, but uh, how your your body will lose this fat mass. Mm -hmm. So it's maybe you can lose weight when you do a very restrictive diet, but after in the short period of time you can replace this this weight uh, and this leptin resistance. Uh, can um, cause you uh, even the resistance of other uh, uh, compounds in your body, like insulin, for example. So what you can do to reduce this leptin resistance? Of course, you must clean your diet, you must lose some weight, even uh, against your own body, because you are with angry, we are, you are uh, with... Uh, uh, hard metabolism to lose weight, but uh, you can uh, reduce this leptin resistance when you reduce your stress too. The points that are uh, creating this leptin resi resistance are not only 
a bad habit, um, a diet habit, a bad, a bad uh, diet, uh, but the stress uh, too, a poor sleep, uh, for example, mm -hmm. it causes leptin resistance too. The chronic inflammation that are uh, created by pollution, stress, uh, lack of sleep, yeah. uh, processed foods, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's very important to uh, try to uh, take some vitamin D because mm -hmm. it will help you to reduce this uh, this uh, inflammation and reduce uh, this lactic resistance. And uh, about supplements take yeah. uh, with vitamin D, um, the probiotic, for example, mm -hmm. because it will help you uh, to have a better uh, function in your intestine. That is mm -hmm. uh, uh, one way to uh, reduce this lactin resistance. I didn't know if I was clear, Martin. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think about mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. And also, I think it's quite important to mention that if someone becomes leptin resistant, then Basically, they find it very hard to determine uh, when they eat whether they are full or not. Yes. Because how does our body decide whether we've got enough of eating and we are full or not? It's one of the one of the uh, one of the factors is basically leptin, right? So when right. leptin is released. Uh, and we are not leptin resistant, then a signal is sent to our brain telling us, okay, I'm full now, I can stop eating. But if we are, if people are leptin resistant, they can't really determine, they still want to eat and they still feel hungry. Yes, yes, it's the organ of the society. So uh, when you, um, um, we, you, we talk a lot about, about emotional hunger. Yeah. But... Uh, we didn't uh, not um, forgot about platinum resistance because when you are trying are trying to reduce what you are eating and you suffer from leptin resistance, you cannot control so easily. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to uh, give you give some your body some balance to help you uh, on this resistance. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not easy because look, fat, body fat mass promotes the leptin resistance. But you have, when you have leptin resistance, you need, you need to eat more. You cannot control. Mm -hmm. But when you, you eat more than you need, you are creating body fat mass. So mm -hmm. it's like a, a cycle, hard to break. Uh, so it's important, of course, to lose weight, uh, go in a diet uh, more restrictive, maybe in the in the beginning, uh, to break this cycle um, and uh, control all the points that I was talking before: mm -hmm. stress, sleep, uh, reduce the inflammation, cleaning your your diet, um, take some antioxidants. It's very important too because mm -hmm. they have an effect on this uh, chronic inflammation, they reduce the inflammation, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the action of this inflammation in your body, and uh, vitamin D and probiotic that will help you to uh, mm -hmm. reduce this um, leptin resistance. For stress and sleep, of course, you have supplements that you can take, but uh, you must uh, do some changes in your lifestyle too. Of course, you cannot uh, change all your uh, your life, but you can uh, create tools, strategies mm -hmm. that help you to reduce the stress, like meditation, yoga, for example, that keeps your nervous system in balance uh, and reduce these cravings too. Um, that in uh, after a, a period of time you mm -hmm. will get more balance in your hormones, um, mostly. Uh, uh, very important too mm -hmm. it's uh, you must uh, start to do some exercise because uh, it uh, will help your metabolism to increase the the the, the rate of so you burn more uh, calories when you do exercise mm -hmm. when you do exercise you have more muscles when you have more muscles your metabolism is higher so you can uh, burn fat even when you are sleeping so uh, it's one point to uh, help these people too mm -hmm. yes and i think also we need to remember that yes positive body image is very important but uh, we need to bear in mind the risk of being overweight uh, or obese uh, because uh, 
yes, people uh, who suffer from obesity, uh, they are at risk of uh, developing uh, cardiovascular diseases, uh, respiratory problems, uh, liver problems, such as fatty liver. Uh, they are at risk of being uh, diabetes as well, uh, uh, insulino uh, resistant. Uh, so there are a lot of things, uh, a lot of health issues that people may suffer from uh, if they still keep going and having uh, not really healthy uh, dietary habits. And also, I think it's quite important to say that uh, people focus on calorie intake, but I think in the first place, they should focus on the nutritional value of the products and later on the calorie intake. Of course, and the obesity is not uh, one uh, static thing. Uh, it, it is a disease, it must be treated. It's not, okay, I respect everyone, of course. Uh, this is about education, we respect, mm -hmm. and uh, we talk in the same way to all uh, the, the people, of course. But you must understand that um, lose weight for these people is an issue of life or death. So it's not a static problem. Yeah. It's a, a health issue. Uh, obese people are at risk not only of uh, diabetes or heart problems, but even cancer because it's uh, obese uh, body, it's a, a, a chronic uh, body infl infl uh, mm -hmm. inflated. And this uh, it's the environment uh, uh, necessary to create cancer too. Uh, and some we are already talked about uh, some imbalance of hormones. For example, uh, they can cause infertility. So it's mm -hmm. not about image. It's not about uh, how pretty or not pretty you are. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, health. Uh, so uh, people obese, it's uh, people that are sick and must be treated and uh, go on a diet. It's the effective way to treat obesity. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so now... Now we know uh, the basic things and we know that uh, how important uh, good food is and what we should avoid. Uh, my question is, uh, why might someone still need to take supplements even if they have well-balanced diet? So for example, I already changed my dietary habits. I do, you know, shopping uh, in the correct way. So I eat uh, a lot of fruit and vegetables. I eat good quality products, uh, preferably organic products. Do I still need to take supplements or not? Yes, Marcin. And I'll why is that? Needs to take supplements. Um, of course, uh, someone like you that uh, have a very um, uh, diversified diet uh, don't have the same um, needs that someone that don't eat like you but uh, look today the food it's not the same uh, that it was in uh, 50 years ago mm -hmm. same banana today doesn't have the same amount of magnesium that the one banana from 50 mm -hmm. years ago because the world is changing, the production of foods is changing. So it's very important if you can, of course, uh, choose organic bio food. But uh, even choosing this kind of food, uh, you cannot get enough nutrients from uh, your food. Other things very important is the, the pollution uh, that uh, reduces uh, the way how your body absorb these nutrients and even the stress, the nervous stress, anxiety, reduce the absorption of nutrients and um, uh, uh, increase the consumption. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the right That's word. Right. Yeah, yeah. Increase the consumption mm -hmm. of nutrients in your body. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important to understand that even in a lifestyle uh, healthy, I need to complement my diet with supplements because I don't find everything I need on the food today, even organic food. Mm -hmm. uh, and my body uh, uh, needs more because in this stress, pollution, uh, lack of sleep, the, causes inflammation in my body. And mm -hmm. when I have inflammation, my body will need more nutrients to uh, reduce this inflammation. This is why it's very important everyone to do uh, supplements. 
In your situation, I recommend uh, in people that have a good uh, diet, mm -hmm. I recommend uh, do cycles uh, um, of uh, supplement, supplements uh, like antioxidants, for example, zinc, vitamin C, uh, vitamin E, very important too, omega-3, omega-6 and 9, uh, and um, do some vitamin D on the winter, especially mm -hmm. because uh, in UK you don't have so much sun but as in Portugal, but even in Portugal we have some problems with vitamin D uh, because we work at home, we don't go to the sun every day all the mm -hmm. time, and um, it's a very important vitamin to our balance. Uh, so I recommend to do in the winter always this vitamin D. After, magnesium is very important too, uh, to keep your uh, energy levels, your body working well, and to balance the use and absorption of other nutrients too. So um, it's important to create a cycle that works for you. For example, winter, vitamin C and vitamin D. If you have more work or you feel tired, use magnesium with these uh, two and mm -hmm. other antioxidants uh, that you can combine uh, and, uh, and go changing uh, after two, three months changing mm -hmm. what you are taking uh, mm -hmm. so you can use uh, in a better way uh, these ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we need to adjust our dietary habits and also taking some supplements based on the season. Right. Yes. Um, one more. One more question uh, before we go into our quiz questions. Uh, you know, sometimes nowadays we've got uh, access to information. You know, TV, internet, podcasts, uh, um, audio books, books, etc. And sometimes we get conflicting information from different sources, right? Some people say, yes, you should eat fruit and vegetables. Then you you go to another website and then it says, no, you shouldn't eat uh, fruit because they're full of sugar. Fructose is sugar. You should focus only on vegetables. Another source says, okay, you should eat cereals because they are nutritious. Then you go to another podcast or website. They say, no, uh, that's actually unhealthy. Another podcast says you should eat eggs. Then you go somewhere else. No, you, you mustn't eat eggs because you're going to have high cholesterol. So what's your advice? How people should deal with this conflicting information? Uh, it depends on the goal of this information. Because, for example, for weight loss, you have a lot of methods that work. Mm -hmm. People need to choose one method and follow this method. In general, for, for health, um, I think we must um, accept that we are uh, humans from nature. We are a species from nature. So we can, we must eat what nature gives you on the place where you live and on the, the season of the year that you are. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's hard uh, on those days, but uh, my uh, advice it's to diversify your uh, your foods, eat uh, foods from all the groups of uh, foods, uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, uh, fish, eggs, uh, cereals, grains, dairy products, um, seeds, um, nuts. Uh, you can eat uh, all these foods every day. Um, of course, with quality, of course, with uh, a conscious quantity to not yeah. put in your body a lot of calories, mm. but diversify your uh, your food. Uh, it's the best advice. And if you trust in someone, follow the co the, the the concept of of this professional because all of us works in a different way with different goals too. But in general, for a healthy lifestyle, you must eat all the, the, the group of foods. In this group of, food, of foods, we don't have processed foods, we don't have uh, sweets, we don't have uh, pre-made uh, 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 dishes. So these you must avoid. Of course, one time in a party, you can uh, eat these foods but mm -hmm. it's not you yeah know, you can have you can have some cheat days or cheat hours party days 
party days. Yes, we don't party every every day yeah. or every week, I think, I hope. So it can happen. Okay, uh, Lydia, um, I, I've got a question here from our audience. Uh, we yes. spoke about uh, sugar. So how about honey? Sorry, I lose you. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes, something, uh, a glitch was there. So uh, we spoke about sugar. So how about honey? So it's a very interesting question. Yeah. Honey, it's not good for weight loss. So if uh, this uh, person wants to lose weight, honey, it's not a good idea until the maintenance. After mm -hmm. when you reach your goal, you can add uh, honey. Um, for the health uh, in general, it's a good ingredient. Of course, it's sugar. It mm -hmm. will improve your uh, glucose, uh, but your uh, glycemic index um, in your blood. But uh, you can use like a more natural way to give some sweetness to your food. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want, I recommend in maximum one uh, spoon of tea, a uh, little spoon mm -hmm. uh, of honey per day mm -hmm. that you can add on in your pancakes, in your coffee mm -hmm. if you want. Mm -hmm. It's a good way. Even honey is very rich um, in ingredients for your immunity. So mm -hmm. it's good in the winter. Uh, yeah. with uh, your tea. Yeah, so it's definitely better than sugar because it contains other um, substances that may benefit our health. And yes. one more question, uh, should diet be changed when getting older? Yes, uh, in different stages, stages of, in your life, mm -hmm. uh, your needs are different. In general, when you are older, you need to uh, eat less than you are younger. Mm -hmm. Because your metabolism is uh, slowing. Uh, but uh, the concept of uh, clean diet, clean food is the same mm -hmm. uh, in all stages of your life. Yeah. When you are older, you need to uh, eat less carbs. You need to eat less um, calories in general. You must increase the, the consumption of uh, antioxidants. Uh, because they are uh, helping your body to reduce the aging process and to reduce the oxidative uh, stress, the inflammation that can mm -hmm. cause not only the aging process, but uh, the process, but the um, uh, the the immunity, uh, reduce the immunity of your body. So these ingredients will help you to get a better health. These antioxidants you can. Uh, uh, have on supplements or on fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, you must, of course, eat all of these groups uh, mm -hmm. all, uh, every day. Mm -hmm. Very important too, uh, in the aging process, um, ladies uh, are more needs from uh, calcium, so uh, do some supplements of calcium if you have uh, these uh, these needs. In menopause, uh, women lose a lot of calcium, so it's very important to yeah. do some supplements. Mm -hmm. If you don't have kidney problems, because uh, the kidney doesn't like so much these calcium products, and uh, for uh, calcium from natural sources, you don't drink milk, you eat uh, uh, green uh, leaves, the vegetables with the green leaves. Um, if you can, uh, if you can eat uh, fresh without uh, cooking, better for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much, Lydia. That was really, really valuable and very interesting uh, podcast. Uh, so I, I hope that everyone. Uh, enjoy that. But before I let you go, I've got 10 quiz questions, quick quiz questions for you. Uh, I want you to provide just a short answer. Are you ready? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. Number one, your favorite go to healthy snack? Healthy snack, nuts. Number two, top nutrition myth you encounter? Meat. Okay. Your morning routine, a uh, green smoothie or black tea or black coffee? <laughs> black coffee. Okay. Number four, best source of plant-based protein? 
best source of plant based protein um, um green peas uh, okay you... green peas yes cool number five your favorite guilt free dessert my favorite yes guilt free dessert uh Chocolate mousse, I don't know how you say in English. Yeah, chocolate mousse. Okay. <laughs> uh, six, key nutri nutrient often overlooked in diet. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a key nutrient over, often overlooked in diets. So people sometimes don't include that nutrient in the diet. Uh, what, what it could be? Very, very hard question. I think uh, people forgot a lot of the, the magnesium in diet. Mm -hmm. uh, vitamin C, it's one of them too, but okay. we, eat a lot, we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables that they had. But I think magnesium, we don't are uh, educated to uh, introduce magnesium in our food. I know it's a quick answer, but I talk a lot. So, yeah. So. Okay, perfect. Number seven, your preferred cooking oil. Uh, olive oil because we have a lot in food in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Quick meal prep tip. Quick meal. Yeah, quick meal prep tip. So something a meal that you can prepare quite quickly. What would be your tip on it? A salad. A salad. Easy to prepare, healthy, uh -huh. and you can have everything that you need on your fridge all the week. Uh, it's like your emergency uh, emergency uh, dish. Perfect. Number nine, your ideal post-workout snack. Banana. And finally, number 10, your favorite way to boost metabolism. Workout. <laughs> okay. So do exercise. Build muscles. Okay. Thank you so much, Lydia. It was Thank really much, nice uh, having you here. Uh, so it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll see you during the next podcast. We are organizing a, a new challenge, which is called Fit6 Go-Getters. So we are really, really excited about that. So all information is on our website and, um, and also throughout our social media channels. Uh, this is something really exciting. We will try to take advantage of uh, this uh, initiative and teach people how to eat healthily, how to take supplements, what's important in, in order to live a happy, happy and healthy life. Also, um, this uh, Goal Getters uh, Challenge uh, will include 24 modules uh, that will take place in a closed Facebook group and we will have some special guests uh, during this uh, during this program. So I hope that you will uh, agree and you will assist us uh, during the program and you will be our special guest uh, from time to time during these 24 modules. Of course, Marcin, it will, it will be a pleasure to be with you and with your uh, customers on these on these participants, on this uh, program. Um, thank you for the invitation. I'm very glad to be here with you and see you on the next time. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. And thank you, Lydia. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.